The NVIDIA GTC event for 2024 took the whole world by storm after they made some shocking announcements. A new foundation model, creation of the world's most powerful chip called the Blackwells, and lots of other huge announcements. And I'll tell you one thing, guys. We are heading towards uncharted territory in the AI world. Here's a super quick rundown of some of the latest updates. The first NVIDIA announcement is the new foundational model named Groot, which stands for Generalist Robot 00 Technology. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang says Groot will kick off a new wave of AI robotics. There are multimodal ways to train robots on the Groot model, from on-screen instructions to videos and demos. Groot then produces the next action for the humanoid robot to execute. The GTC event showcased the immaculate intersection between AGI, Blackwell Chip, and Humanoid Robotics, and here is a taste of what our future is going to look like with robots. The technology will enable AI robots to interact with their environment, grasp human language, and emulate human movements and demonstrations to help with everyday tasks. In addition to Project Groot, NVIDIA also introduced two contributions to its Isaac robotics platform. The Isaac Manipulator, which is a collection of foundation models for controlling robotic arms, and the Isaac Perceptor, which gives robots more advanced visual capabilities with multi-camera 3D vision. Just by their names, you already get the hang of what they do. The Manipulator helps with manipulation, and the Perceptor helps with perception. NVIDIA also rolled out the Jetson Four Computer, a central processing unit for humanoid robots built on NVIDIA's Four system on-chip, which is useful for facilitating complex tasks and ensuring smooth and safe interaction. Four literally serves as the brain power behind these robots, with the chip engineered to carry out intricate tasks while ensuring safe and intuitive human-robot interaction. But before we get to that stage of seamless human-robot interaction, these robots must figure out how to properly navigate the human world. Out. They don't come pre-programmed with the knowledge of how to dance, for instance. To facilitate the humanoid robot learning process, NVIDIA created the Isaac Reinforcement Learning Gym, allowing robots to adapt to the physical world. The gym allows engineers to build any landscape designs they want, without the expanse of taking space or losing the robot to accidents. Here, the robots can learn several skills by repeating tasks until they learn how to do those tasks properly. What is even more fascinating is the fact that the bots undergo zero-shot transfer between the virtual and real world. Hence, if the bots learn to do push-ups in the virtual world and undergo many reiterations until they finally get it, they can transfer their newly found skill to the real world without any demos. Based on virtual learning, the bots can use the skills they have picked up. NVIDIA also shows us how voice-to-text using a large language model allows humanoid robots to communicate with humans. Here is a closer look at what the entire structure looks like. Once it receives the multimodal input, NVIDIA scales out with Osmo, a new compute orchestration service that coordinates workflows across DGX systems for training and OVX systems for simulation. NVIDIA is collaborating with other humanoid robot companies like OneX Technologies, Agility Robotics, Aptronic, Boston Dynamics, Figure AI, Fourier Intelligence, Sanctuary AI, Unitree Robotics, and Xpeng Robotics. But before we talk about the next big update, why don't you take a moment to hit that subscribe button? Helps us to make more videos like this for you and others interested in AI. Appreciate! So next up is a look at NVIDIA's incredible Blackwell chip, tagged the most powerful chip. NVIDIA introduced the new chipset to change computing as we know it today. Huang first showed us Hopper, which happens to be Blackwell's predecessor. Then he revealed the Blackwell chip, which was bigger and 30 times more capable than its predecessor Hopper. The Blackwell is about four times faster than any previous AI supercomputing chip. But why is the chip such a big deal? Here are the key features of Blackwell B200. The B200 GPU provides up to 20 petaflops of FP4 horsepower from its 208 billion transistors. The much bigger brother of the B200 GPU, 
The GB200 Super Chip combines two BT100 GPUs with a Grace CPU and can provide up to 30 times large language models workload and remain incredibly efficient. At the keynote, Nvidia claimed that the Blackwell B200 is more cost and energy effective than its predecessor, the H100. The numbers are just unlike anything we have ever seen, and this ultimately translates to insane levels of computing power and speed, but there's more. Training a 1.8 million parameter once took 8,000 hoppers and 50 megawatts, now takes about 2,000 Blackwell GPUs and 4 megawatts, another significant step up from its predecessor. Compared to ChatGPT3, which has 175 billion parameters, Blackwell GPU pulls insane numbers. The GP200 offers about seven times the performance of the H100 and up to four times the training power. Don't even get me started on the amount of data that the chip could handle. There's 10 terabytes of data between it, 10 terabytes per second. No memory locality issues, no cache issues, just one giant chip. But we ain't done just yet. One of the most impressive announcements of the GTC 2024 was the next-gen NVLink switch. The rate at which we're advancing computing is insane, and it's still not fast enough, so we built another chip. This chip is just an incredible chip. We call it the NVLink switch. What the architecture is capable of is just mind-blowing. The switch lets 576 GPUs talk to each other to provide up to 1.8 terabytes per second of bi-directional bandwidth. What in the world? NVIDIA is also pushing for a larger deployment of GPUs. The company now has larger designs like the GP200 NVL72, which plugs 72 GPUs and 36 CPUs into a single rack with 720 petaflops of AI training or 1,440 petaflops for inferences. The structure has nearly two miles of cables with 5,000 individual cables. Each tray in a rack has two NVLink switches or two GPUs. GB200 chips. Each rack has either 18 of the NVLink switches or 9 of the GB200 chips. Nvidia claims that one of the racks can power a 27 trillion parameter model. This value is more than 10 times that of ChatGPT4, which is rumored to be a 1.7 trillion parameter model. We could also talk about its scalability. NVIDIA CEO Zhen Huang says its system can scale up to 10,000 GP200 chips. Hence, the company can connect these superchips to form an enormous computing network. The superchips can offer up to 800 gigabytes per second networking using Quantum X800 InfiniBand, up to 144 connections, or Spectrum X800 Ethernet, up to 64 connections. Also, GB200 will be available on NVIDIA DGX Cloud, an AI platform co-engineered with leading cloud service providers that gives enterprise developers dedicated access to the infrastructure and software needed to build and deploy advanced generative AI models. Before its official launch, NVIDIA announced that many companies like Amazon, Google, and Microsoft had already jumped on the bandwagon with the Blackwell system. However, there were no specific details on the launch date, but we can expect the date to be later this year. Also, keep in mind that these new GPUs might cost up to $40,000. Now let's talk about another scary thing. At the GTX 2024 event, Jensen Huang announced that Project Groot is the cornerstone of the foundational agent roadmap of the recently founded Gear Lab. The foundational agent is pretty impressive. Nvidia is working on building an artificial general intelligence agent, which is said to be a moonshot project. The company will need massive resources, but while the project has high risks, it also has enormous rewards. I know it's a lot to take in. I mean, the thought alone is insane. We thought Chappie, the robot from the 2015 movie of the same name, was decades away. But we now can see it unfold right before our very eyes. We could have artificial intelligence within our bodies in just a couple of years. Thinking about it, artificial general intelligence is a wild concept. It essentially means a future where AI can outthink and outperform humans in virtually all possible domains. And what if their values, if they have any, vary vastly?
vastly from ours. The Gear Lab is deeply entrenched in training robots in how they react to the world, virtual or real. We believe these projects need a group of humanists among engineers to ensure we have morally friendly perspectives in the workspace. Many of the AI companies are outperforming themselves to ensure that AGI arrives sooner than expected. Jen Huang said that he believes AGI can be here in five years, the type of AGI that can pass human tests and achieve basic human intelligence. Um, I would I would say that within the next five years you're going to see uh, um, obviously uh, AIs that can that can achieve those tests. This changes everything for us going forward. As we already know, Nvidia is no longer just a gaming company. It is knee deep in AI and is giving other AI companies a run for their money. And with the global AI market seeing a downturn, partly due to the impact of US sanctions on China, the demand for the Nvidia Blackwell AI chip is likely going to skyrocket. But companies like Meta are not just going to roll over and play dead. The company is ready to unleash the Meta Llama 3 in a couple of months, and this next video shows everything in all of its glory.